Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm actually going to be talking to you guys about something that's been floating around the GTA 5 community in regards to the next generation announcement and all the exclusive stuff that next gen is going to be getting, and that's the idea that did, you know, the old school consoles of the 360 and the PS3 kind of get the short end of the stick or get screwed over a little bit. So I've definitely seen in my comment section over the past few videos that a lot of people who aren't moving on to an Xbox One or a PS4 are kind of frustrated that they're not getting any of this content. Literally, for the past month, Rockstar has only announced stuff for next generation. And if you're not getting one of these new consoles or a PC, you're kind of going to be left in the dark on not only the stuff that's coming for returning players like the Dugo Death, the Dodo Seaplane, stuff like that, but you're also missing out on all the information announced this week, like the first person and content and all the other vehicles and exclusives and stuff that's only going to be coming for next gen you're not going to be able to capitalize on that so the main argument I've heard is why is Rockstar abandoning you know the console and the fan base that gave them such a great start with GTA 5 and a lot of people are pointing the finger at Rockstar saying that you know they're the bad guys in this situation and I'm trying to play devil's advocate and I am almost positive that if technology allowed them to do something like this they would put all the content that they're giving to the next generation on the 360 and the PS3 but something you definitely need to keep in mind is that these consoles are outrageously old and I know what you guys might be saying that you know your PS3 or your Xbox 360 might only be two or three years old and it's the slim version or the elite version well the hardware is certainly changed but the software and the components that make these games run have not been updated since 2006 and 2007 that's how old your Xbox 360 is and your PS3 is imagine looking at a computer from 2006 and then looking at a computer from 2013 the difference is going to be just crazy so I'm almost positive if possible Rockstar would have given these features to both consoles I feel like they hate having to just kind of leave the 360 and the PS3 guys behind and only focus on the next generation but with that out of the way that's kind of the wave of the future Rockstar isn't going to sit back and almost not take advantage of something great that's been given to them which is these next generation consoles of an Xbox one and a PS4 Rockstar's never had tools this powerful to work with obviously not in GTA 4 and certainly not on Vice City and San Andreas so they're giving us a bunch of things that they probably always wanted to do but never had the technological power to get it done so do I feel bad in a way for guys who aren't moving on? Yes, certainly. And if you're not in a position to get a next generation console, it's unfortunate that you're not going to be able to experience a lot of this. But keep in mind that it's not Rockstar trying to do you guys over or put you guys into the ground. It's the fact that the consoles are really overworked. And that's a theory why I think that the last few DLCs certainly haven't been up to par themselves. In fact, Rockstar made an announcement that if you want to get more GTA Online updates on the PS3, on certain versions with a lower hard drive space, you're going to have to up grade because the systems just can't take it anymore and the same applies with the 360 so as an overall consensus do I think that the old generation console players are kind of getting screwed over a little bit yes in a way we're getting a lot of content on next generation and it's sort of unfair to see it only go there but in a way it makes sense it's like the new car that gets all the new features because it's a new vehicle and it has all these upgrades that you certainly can't do on older cars so it's the way of the technological life cycle as things improve we're going to get more features and older consoles and older you know mechanisms can't have these features so I want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below do you think it's unfair that Rockstar is only giving features like this to the next generation or do you think that's just a part of the you know technology life cycle things will become obsolete and you won't be able to put new things on there so I definitely want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below be sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy and also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this without the way guys like I said thanks for watching take care and I'll see you guys in the next video